Whoa, I look like a really big nerd right now. I'm going to do your homework for you in school. Uh, anyway, welcome to the... Finally, I'm getting to this review of Marion Sonic 225's Danganronpa Plus series. I do these... As you know, I do chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 and 4. And I don't know if there's a chapter 5, but we'll see. Anyway, let, let's review chapter 1. I'm, by the way, big spoilers if you have not seen the series. Obviously, I'm going to be probably spoiling most of... I'm not going to be spoiling all the plot points. I'm just going to be spoiling the main stuff. So please, and give my opinion on it. Okay, let's do chapter 1 first. So chapter 1 is pretty good. I'm just going to mention things that I like. I like Spider-Man. He's a very good... <laughs> He's just really funny. Tails is also really funny. I hated him at the start, but I've kind of grown a bit attached to him. Um, I love that they they are free time events, and also the one big thing problem with this series is that the music is just so loud at some moments when you can't even hear. But I understand that Danger from the music is pretty hard to mix because it it just has a weird feel to it. So you know it's pretty difficult to do that, but. That's only the big criticism I have with this series. So try not, if you're going to make one, don't do that, you know. But anyway, chapter one, let's get to the motive. The motive is, uh, oh yeah, targets. So, uh, also, M Monokuma is called Monkey. So if I say Monkey in the future, I'm talking about the Monokuma of this series, right? Monkey is pretty cool as well. I do like all the characters. I, I do like the comedy aspect of the series. That's the one big thing that I like the most. I, I it really it made me laugh on multiple occasions, and I do like when Danganronpa's have comedy because it is a com. It's also serious but also comedic, and many times even the games. So chapter one motive and basically, uh, it's basically targets. So like people have ta different targets and like you know they're supposed to go after those people, and then it's basically if you've played Danganronpa Tr Trigger Happy Havoc, it's basically these. I feel like these. Flash trials are very similar to them. So basically what happens is that, uh, you know, the girl character, which is like Sylveon, comes to meet Yoshi, which also, Yoshi, I'm pretty sure is the ultimate lucky student, but, which I don't like having the main character as that, but in a second, I'll talk a bit more about that later, when it's more relevant. So, yeah, obviously, Sylveon... You know, this happens, she gets upset, she comes into the room, they switch rooms, which always happens in the first trial, uh, and most series to replicate the first game, and we have the first trial, because obviously she is killed, and whoa, Yoshi is now, you know, set out to be the murderer, but, and then the first trial, so there's a lot of cool clues, like, um, there's uh, Wii remotes and nunchucks, which I think is pretty cool to use those as a, like, prop. There's also Mikey, like addiction. He's got he was hiding or something. That I also like that toy, as well. And I also the what the other thing I like about it was, oh what what was it again? Um, how Mario is so quick to literally think that <laughs> Yoshi's the like the murderer. <laughs> He's literally so quick, which I wouldn't blame him, but you know. So yeah, there was a lot of good. The investigation section was good. Obviously, the music was too loud, though, and in some areas. But I still kind of got it because I could check the uh, little thing after. Like, it literally showed um, what things were found in the investigation, which I do like when some series have that because it is very useful. Then, obviously, Class Trial 1, I did, it had very good moments. It was a pretty logical I would say the class trials in this series are very easy to find out who the murderer is, but, or the blackened, but the creator himself, I think, explained that, if I can remember correctly. It has been a long time since I've seen that video. But anyway, yeah, they are a bit easy, but I, I don't mind, it's just a plush series. And wow, uh, Mikey, M Michelangelo <laughs> being the uh, murderer is... Pretty cool. The punishment was kind of weird. It was literally just ninja something. It was something to do with ninja, which I guess is fair, but it wasn't the flashiest. But it was okay. I, I do, and I'm also going to do a scoring for the chapters. So chapter one, I'm gonna give it a four, five out of ten. Sure, I'll give it a five. Okay. No, I'm gonna bump it down to the four because of the music. Okay. So the so four out of ten. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too good either. Not my favorite. Let's move on to chapter two. Now, chapter two, 
was all about... Uh, if you ever played the first game, it also replicates the first game's chapter two. And in where there is a... The mode of this time is Nightmares, which I do also like that as well. I've never seen... I think I've seen that once or twice, but it is still quite a new concept. Um, let, I'm going to talk about the parts before the trial and stuff like that. It was pretty nice. There wasn't, like, just people exploring. They got a bathroom as a new room, which is it's pretty funny. But apparently there's new, three new rooms next time, you know. And, yeah, it was pretty good. Some characters, Tails was very good. Tails and Sonic's relationship is very funny in this series. <laughs> they just hate each other. And Sonic actually tied up Tails, which I think is really funny. It reminds me of something from, like, Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga. So, that's quite good. And then, getting to the tro- uh, the, uh, well, the, um, death, I guess you could say. The... Oh, yeah, also, in all the trials, I have, like, the... This is what happened in, like, the style, which I also do like quite a lot. There's also, um... Anyway, let's get on to the murder. Okay, so the murder this time was Bulbasaur, which is kind of... It's okay, I didn't I didn't mention her. She's not that... I wasn't really that attached to her. I didn't really care if she died, but, you know, it kind of makes sense, you know. Then, we have... In the trial, basically, all the, the investigation part was actually quite good. I did like it. Mario also... Uh, showed Yoshi a binder of murders and at first I didn't understand what he m meant because I, I couldn't hear him properly but then I kind of got it as the trial went on so you know it's a binder of like all murders then later to reveal it in the trial so the investigation part was pretty good that's the only thing that I really liked the most and Tails is always along with Yoshi which I think is also pretty funny or cool then we got into the class trial Um, in the class trial there's it's very like the second, I mean, the first game. Oh yeah, in Trials, there is something called Argue, which reminds me of the sword thing from the second game, but I forgot to mention that because it, I, I think it only happened in the first trial, actually. Anyway, in the second trial, it was actually pretty funny. There was a lot of funny moments of character... <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's lots of comedic moments in Trials, which I do appreciate. But, and also, the, uh, obviously... As always, these these trials are kind of easy to figure out if you listen for long enough. But it turns out um, Vaporeon, which is a character I should have mentioned, because she's actually a pretty good character, or he, or whatever, I don't know. She um, basically has, like... A, she. If you've ever played the first game, it's like Biakua and... Sorry, I haven't played... I haven't seen the first game in a long time. And Toko. Toka. Um, I probably butchered both of those names, to be honest. It kind of sounds like it. Anyway, so it's kind of like their relationship. They have a very... Which, Byakuya hates Toka, but Toka is absolutely obsessed with Byakuya. Um, Byakuya being Mario and Toka being Vaporeon. And then later, leave just like the first game, an alter ego is blamed to be the murder, which is... Vaporeon turns into... Oh, who is it again? Party, vapey, vapey, right? And like she has like a little monokuma thing on her eye, which I also was thinking to myself, well, monkey and Vaporeon sound very similar, completely. So I kind of, but now it's it kind of fits, you know. And like she's a psychopath basically, but she still loves Mario. So it was turned out that she also Mario right no framed her. Sorry. <laughs> For the case, but obviously she went along with it because she loves Mario that much. Then, but then it was figured out that it was actually Goomba, which is sad because Goomba and ah oh, Sneasel had a very bro relationship, just like in the first game, getting very Mondo vibes from this case, and it was kind of sad. But the music, yeah, it's quite it's quite a sad scene to be honest, but. The music kind of drowned it out of it. <laughs> but I'll start mentioning the music because it's obvious that that is a problem. It's pretty obvious now, isn't it? But, yeah. And also, so the, the trial was actually pretty good. I did enjoy it. There's a lot of funny moments and good moments. Um, yeah. Then the execution of Goomba. And it's sad because we never actually got to see Goomba's backstory. Because 
Sneeze, Sneeze, the other one, we actually got to see it because she taught, they talked about basically how they were kicked out of that home and their dad couldn't provide for them. So they went from foster home to, and they stole and from a, to a rich, rich company and they stole from that. That's how they got their ultimate as the ultimate thief. And yeah, it's kind of sad though. We didn't actually get to, all I heard of was something about the war. So that's kind of sad, but the execution was actually pretty good. I did enjoy it. I thought I thought it was gonna become but he was gonna become butter at the end, but I don't know. It was actually pretty good though. Then we get to the very exciting part of chapter two. So <laughs> this is the part that really caught my interest, and I want, wanted to watch a bit more. So it was seen on a note that I'm like, M Monkey was like, I'm gonna put a note in one of your guys' rooms, and I I already knew it was gonna be Yoshi because he's he's the main character, but then. Well, the note was there. It was actually very interesting. It was basically saying how the Ultimates can stop this person, which I'm assuming is the mastermind, and the the three best three people were uh, uh, Bulbasaur, the Ultimate Detective, Yoshi, the Ultimate. I couldn't. I don't know what Yoshi's armor is, but I'm I'm glad that that's what I was talking about. The Ultimate Lucky Student. He's technically not the Ultimate Lucky Student, so I'm glad. I'm really glad, please. And then Mario, the ultimate hero. So it's very interesting that these... And then it said 15 other ultimates and saying, if you have any more ultimates, please contact us. So it seems very weird. But I also kind of like it, but Bulbasaur is obviously dead. It's kind of interesting to see that characters have different roles than they actually do. So yeah, I, so chapter 2 gets a 6 out of 10, just because I did like the um, the ending to it. And it was better than chapter one. Chapter one, the, the music problem from is getting, getting slowly better. So that's why I'm just going to bump it up. So four out of ten for the first one, six out of ten for this one. And yeah, that that's chapter one and two. I'm going to do chapter three and four in a bit. So thank you for watching.